Hey guys, what's happening? It's Adam here. So today we're going to be talking about how to install texture packs onto your Minecraft game. So here you can see that I picked out a texture pack here on the Minecraft forums of which one I want to run. Make sure that you are looking at a texture pack that is compatible with the most recent version of Minecraft. Minecraft is constantly updating and when they do update you will have to delete some files in order to make your Minecraft work sometimes because it will make the Minecraft game incompatible with the texture pack when it updates and you'll have to wait for a compatible version of the texture pack to be updated back to the forums. So I picked LB Photo Realism. You can see most of them have pictures. Now you want to decide which type you want. The higher number, the more memory you're going to need to run it. I go for the 64s so that I can still have good FPS on my Minecraft game. So we're going to scroll down to the download page, the download section I should say. And here we are. So I already did download it, so I'm just going to open up the downloads folder actually. Drag that to this window. So you can see I have two things. I have the .zip and I have the actual folder. When you download your Minecraft texture pack, you're going to want to delete this folder. So you just have the .zip version of it. Okay. Next, you're going to need another item. You're also going to have to redo this every time you want to fix another version of Minecraft. This is called MC Patcher HD. It allows you to do higher quality texture packs choosing in games such as 64, 128, all that kind of stuff. Make sure it is, is the most recent version and compatible. So you're going to want to scroll down, Windows and other platforms. Once again, I downloaded it here, and it is here in the downloads folder. So we're going to get started and we're going to launch MC Patcher. wait for it to open up a little slow trying to open it trying to run screen flow at the same time but okay so you're then greeted with this window here here it's going to analyze your minecraft files and when it's done you're going to be granted with these options basically you don't have to change anything you can unselect the hd font if you don't want want it personally i do like it i do not do the better grass just because texture packs sometimes look weird with it so make sure you do have the hd textures checked because that will pr uh, provide the support that you need so you're just going to hit patch and you can now run a texture pack. So next we're going to open up another file. We're going to go right into my library now. So we're actually going to open up a new finder window. Find Minecraft. There we go. You're then going to want to go to your texture packs and drag in the .zip version. Make sure it is the .zip version. And finally, this is the folder that you're going to want to make sure you know about. Because if you do have an error updating your texture pack and the screen goes black sometimes when Minecraft updates, let's say Notch updates it to 1.6.7 or something, or 1.7, your texture pack will break and sometimes Minecraft will not open. It'll just go to a black screen and you'll have a crash. What happens then is you're going to want to delete this Minecraft application support folder. When you delete that, next time you, down, you open Minecraft, it's going to reinstall this folder and you'll just have to do these steps over again and install your texture pack again 
and everything will be fixed. Just since texture packs, since this is technically unsupported modding using the MC patcher, it can sometimes cause some errors, but nothing fatal. Just deleting the folder will reset your Minecraft client. Uh, if You do have to back up worlds, though, on single player if you do delete this folder. So make sure you do back up your saves right here. Also, if you want, you care about your stats or anything like that. But that is the main gist of it. And you can find that in your home folder in the library, application support, and Minecraft folder. So without with all of that now we can close these windows and we're going to actually launch minecraft now and show you that that indeed did install that nice little texture pack i chose so we're going to load up minecraft here wait for it to open up Just log in on a separate window there we go you can see this is the standard login here with the normal logo and we have our normal texture pack you're then going to want to go to modern texture packs and you see our texture pack so you're going to want to click it it's going to take a couple of seconds to load the texture pack and voila we now have a texture pack now to show you guys i'm just going to quickly log into a multiplayer world let me just take that off the screen Oh, looks like my friend took off the multiplayer world. So I'll create a single player world really quick, guys. I'll call this just New World and let it generate. And I'll show you guys what the texture pack looks like in real time here. Go ahead and make this a larger window. And there we go guys, this is our texture pack fully installed in the 64 version. If you want a higher resolution, you have a better computer, because I'm just running a MacBook, then you can definitely go ahead and download the higher res versions, which can uh, provide some really cool, you know, some really cool textures and all that stuff. But personally, I just cared about my FPS not lagging and higher res ones will provide some lag if your computer cannot handle it. So we'll go ahead and just check out the inventory here. Alright, let's log out here. So thanks for watching guys again and I will definitely see you in one of my other videos. I hope you can have fun installing some texture packs and all that. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in one of my next videos. See ya.